hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to insert dynamic templates inside javascript using mustage template engine so mustage is a very good template engine inside javascript it's a very popular one and a very old one also so basically the name is mustache.js so if you just go to google and type here m u s t a s c h e dot js so this is a library that i am using here so it's this kind of a template engine which is ejs or handlebars you have used in node.js but this is for javascript minimal javascript vanilla javascript that you write in the browser so i will be showing you example how to have this get started inside your javascript code so this is its uh, official documentation it's very good you can just read more about it it's its official website here you will see this is it so it works in the browser also i will show the example on how to use this on the server side in node.js so this will be a complete tutorial so let's get started this will be the demo application you will see on the screen so if i submit any value in the form here if i type click change name you will see that change name will be changed changed here so if i replace any value here you will see the name will change here like this so this we are doing using the template that we have specified you can have any template of your choice and then you can uh, play with the play with the template using this uh, library inside javascript so this is very powerful library if you want to build complex application using some kind of a template then you can use this library let's get started so now to build this application i will delete all the code and start from scratch so basically what you need to do is that you need to be opening a code editor and just build a, just open index.html file and just write the bare bone html code here change the title right here mustache.js template engine example in javascript So we will just have a simple div here or first of all we will have a simple form and inside this form we will have a simple text field where we can enter the name of the person that we need to insert in the, in the template. So this is a required field and then we will have a simple submit button. So just it will say the value will be simply change name and we will be giving a, a id to it to the form which is form so basically if you now open your index.html it will contain a simple form here so now we simply need to include the library so basically if you just type here mustache.js cdn so you will find the cdn which is required here so very first link which comes in simply copy the url or you can go to my video description in this video description i have given the full source code of this uh, video that i am typing here so just go to the video description this is my blog post all the source code will be given alongside with all the examples that i will show you in this video so just copy paste the cdn here so after the body just paste it script source paste the cdn and now the library is loaded successfully now we simply need to write the javascript code here custom javascript so now basically guys you need to initialize the template where you will be targeting it so you need to make a template which is a mustache templates so now to make this inside your script tag you will give it an id you can give any id of your choice i will give it as template and then we need to give it a special tag by which we can recognize that this is a mustache template so that attribute that you need to give here is that this attribute type attribute which is this if you just see type is equal to x dash t tm pn dot dash mustache m u s t a c h e so this is a type attribute we need to give here and inside this you can have your template so i will have hello my name is and then 
followed by the variable that we need to insert dynamic variable so we will use double curly brackets here and then the followed by the name parameter this is the variable that we will dynamically insert using the form so simply inside the javascript we need to first of all target the form here we need to get the reference of it so we can simply say document dot get element by id form and then we can attach a event listener when the form submits we will execute this function which is change name now we need to initialize this function here so we will say function change name and inside this event parameter will be passed here we need to auto prevent auto submission of the form by writing e dot prevent default and then we will get the name which the user has entered by document dot get element by id we have given the id to the input field which is name here so we will get the values and store it inside the name variable and now we can insert this very simply so what we need to do is that we need to get the reference to the template so we will get the reference again using document dot get element by id and the id which we have given to the script element you will see this is a template so we are just passing and we need to get the inner html so inner html property and store it inside the template so basically if you just console log it template so what you will find is that if i just uh, show you if i write anything here click change name and if i inspect element go to console you will see this template will be printed out so this is exactly what we want here we need this template after getting the template we need to store it in inside a render variable and we will use mostatch uh, library and this contains a render method and here we will specify the template which we are working here so we are working inside template this template we have stored it inside this variable and then we need to pass the variable as we know one variable is there which is name so we can initialize the name to colon the name which is passed inside the form so this is a way by which you do it you will see that this is a syntax so now we need to attach the resultant uh, div so we can have another div here which will hold the result for us so just like this and now we can attach the result so we can simply say document dot get element by id so we have given this result here so we can pass result inner html is equal to render that's it so this is the code guys of the application let me try it in the browser if it works or not so if i provide a template here let's suppose change name it is saying that wastage is not defined i think guys the library is not successfully loaded so you can try out go to my video description link and here i have given the full cdn link here this is the cdn link that you need to use here unpackaged from the unpackaged.com website so go to the video description link and replace it the cloudflare doesn't work i have seen many times so replace it with this script tag which is the cdn official cdn which is provided by the official documentation so just replace it and now you will see the library should work no errors will be there if i see you will see hello my name is you can change the name accordingly you will see the name will change here so you can see that so this is you can have as many variables as you want inside your template you can have uh, let's suppose we make it as first name and last name hello my first name is first and last name is last so now you can have two input fields first for the input so we can here say l name or oh sorry l name and this will be f name for first name so all these two fields will be required so now what we can do is that we can 
get the values here which is for the first name and last name so after getting these two values we can pass here so we can simply say the re uh, variable name which was you can you need to pass the exact name that you have given inside the template here so we will re replace it first here and this will be equal to the first name that we have received and the l name that is sorry last this will be equal to l name that's it and now you will see there will be two in full fields here so you will see hello my first name is this and last name is this you will see you can change it so you can have as many dynamic fields as you want you can replace it using javascript this using this uh, template engine you can also have numeric values also so if you want to provide numeric values so let's suppose i change this type to number so basically the thing changes here if i replace it with number you will see first name is 45 last so you can have decimal numbers numbers names as well so this is a very basic example i am showing you you can even create complex templates as you want accordingly for your application you can also have tables as well you can create dynamic tables you can also create dynamic pdf documents as well so in this video i just wanted to show as show you very exam basic example of using this template engine inside javascript and let's move on to the node.js stuff mm -hmm. so basically if you want to make a node.js application you will uh, just initialize npm init dash y this will create the empty package.json file and then it contains this library which, which is npm i mustache so this is a server side library so it executes this command here and it will install this library inside your package.json file you will see mustache library is installed here so simply inside your index.js file of node.js you need to bring this module here simply write here mustache and you need to require this module and then you need to have your template which will be simply you will use this method which is mustache dot render and here we will define the properties so i have given the link in the video description if you want here of my blog post so i have shown you how to do this step by step so first of all you will declare your view so before we will declare the view like this so inside this curly brackets you will define the properties first is will be a title or any property will give so we can say this is a title coding section you can also perform some arithmetic calculations as well you can have a method which will return let's suppose this is a method here so we can this is a function you will see and this will return uh, numeric plus minus you can do addition let's suppose we return 4 plus 2 so this comes out to be 6 so now we need to render this template so we can simply say mustache sorry mustache dot render and here we will pass the view for which we need to do it so simply we will pass it view comma and then Uh, sorry mustache dot render and after that we will say hello this is a title and then we will dynamically replace it with double curly brackets title and the value is and then we will dynamically insert calculate like this so I think this is the way guys you can do it you just need to use double curly brackets and after that you need to pass the view comma view so whichever template you are working view 
working out just pass it in the second parameter so now to, the main thing is that you need to use this double curly brackets in order to replace variables functions as well so now if you launch this application node index.js you will find out you need to print this also so on the screen so you can just say console log render node index.js you will see the hello this is a title this is a title coding section and the value is 6 so it is returning perfect perfectly here you will see so this is the way by which you can use it inside node.js it is very simple I have shown you both the examples on the browser side and on the server side node.js all the source code will be there inside video description if you face any sort of problem please comment on this video Please hit the like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.